We've seen many phenomena that um, exhibit a periodic behavior. And when this happens, we can often use a sinusoidal function to uh, represent this uh, periodic behavior. So in this video, what I'm going to show you is then how to use equations and graphs and see how they're related to solve an equation. So to start off, let's take a look at 4 sine squared x minus 3. And what I'm going to do is we're going to solve this algebraically first. So I'm going to write this over here. So to solve, I need to isolate my sine squared x first. So once I've isolated my sine squared x, I need to isolate sine x. So I'm going to square root both sides. So don't forget the plus or minus on the right side. And I get root 3 divided by 2. And that kind of should trigger in your memory go, hey, I've seen this before, and I can actually get um, exact values for the angles. So I'm going to draw my axis, and I'm going to place the angle in the first quadrant, draw my triangle. And since the root 3 is my opposite, and my hypotenuse is 2, I'm going to place root 3 over 2 here, which therefore triggers to me that this side must be 1. And the special triangle that corresponds to this gives me an angle down here of pi over 3. So therefore, my reference angle is pi over 3. So now what I need to do is, because it's plus or minus, that means there's an actually an angle in every single quadrant. So let's first find the second quadrant angle. So this goes from here standard position to the second quadrant and the reference angle here is also pi over 3. So to find the angle in the second quadrant I need to take pi minus pi over 3 and that will give me 2 pi over 3. Okay let's find the angle in the third quadrant. So to this we're going to go halfway which is pi and then we need to add the reference angle this time. So we're going to go pi plus pi over 3, and that will give me 4 pi over 3. All right, the very last one is the angle in the fourth quadrant. And we're going to go all the way, almost all the way around, but not quite. So if I went all the way around, it would be 2 pi, but I need to take away pi over 3. So 2 pi minus pi over 3 will be 5 pi divided by 3. So this gives me the four answers um, algebraically. So let's take a look at this graphically. Now to show you this, uh, we're going to take a look at and use Desmos. So what I've already done is I've um, typed in the equation. I typed it in as 4 sine x all squared minus 3. Now the reason that I did this is because when you type this in your graphing calculator actually, um, the sign, when you type in sign, it automatically opens up a bracket. Uh, right after the word sine. So what you, so you can't actually squeeze in a squared in between. So what we'll have to do is we're going to open up the bracket before the word sine. Um, it'll open up another bracket, type in x, close the two brackets, and then type in the squared, and then the minus 3 after. Now I'm going to actually show you that this is actually the same as writing it out as for sine squared, oops, x. And that's 4 sine squared x, and then when I minus 3, it's going to bring me down to the same graph. So you can see that sine x all squared and sine squared x are actually the same thing. So the notation that we tend to use is actually the sine squared x when we write it out, as opposed to putting the bracket. So that just kind of saves us a little bit of time. All right, now to see that we can match the answers that we got algebraically, um, I'm going to go to my wrench, and I'm going to adjust my x domain or my domain to be from 0 and I'm going to instead of 10 I'm going to make it 2 pi and you can do this on your graphing calculator as well so this will be 2 pi so now I can see that my solutions are here at pi over 3 2 pi over 3 4 pi over 3 and my last one which you can't see so I'm going to extend that Oops. 
All right, so I've adjusted the graph so you can see the points all on here. So my window, um, again, was from 0 to 2 pi for my domain, and then I use um, a range of negative 8 to 8. All right, so my points here you can see are pi over 3, and 2 pi over 3, 4 pi over 3, and 5 over 3. So these are the points that cross the x-axis. So these are the solutions of this equation for sine squared x minus 3. And that corresponds back to what we had before, which I'll go back to here. So let's just draw a rough sketch so that we kind of have some um, information to remind us what this is. So I'll draw my x-axis right here. And my wax is right on the edge. So my domain was from 0 to 2 pi. And then my range was from negative 8 to 8. And then this gave me a graph that looks something like this. All right, now if you're using a graphing calculator, um, you won't get the pi over 3, 2 pi over 3, and so on. So let's let me write the decimal value so that you know they're the same thing. So you get 1.047, 2.094, 1.097, 1.098, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1.099, 1
So my period, let's pick two points. So let's say that I pick the maximum here to the maximum point here. So that's from two o'clock to two o'clock. So that means that my period is 12 hours. Now the other way you could have done this without drawing the graph is that you can see that the time from the max to the min is two o'clock to eight o'clock, which means that it's six hours. That's gonna be half of our period. So then if I times by two, this would actually give me the 12. All right, now the period is 12, so the B value is gonna be two pi divided by the period to give me pi divided by six. All right, now the C value is our phase shift. And when I take a look at for sine, the minimum phase shift would be to go back negative one. So this is for sine. And the C value for cos, I'm gonna pick this point up at the very top, and that has a phase shift of positive two. Okay, last is my vertical displacement, my D. So I can see that this is one and then 1.2, because every square represents 0 0.2, 1.2, 1 1.4, and 1.6. You can also think of taking this as 0.2 as my minimum point and then adding the amplitude. And that will give you the 1.6. All right, so my two equations are y equals 1.4 sine pi over 6 x. My phase shift is negative 1 backwards, so it's going to be plus 1. Close my bracket and then plus 1.6 for my vertical displacement. And the cos one will be very similar, except my phase shift will be x minus 2 because it's moving to the right of what it normally is. All right, so to finish off, um, at what time is the tide first at a height of 1 meter? So what I want to do is the y actually represents my height. So I'm going to show you how to calculate this algebraically. So we're going to place the 1 here. And what I need to do is to isolate my angle. My angle is actually all of this stuff in here. Okay, so let's move the 1.6 over first. And divide. Okay, and then I'm going to set this part here. I'm going to say that's going to be theta, just to make it a little bit easier. Okay. So now I have theta, and I'm called that the reference angle. It's going to be cos negative of 0 0.6 over 1.4. All right, so when I type this into my calculator, I get a reference angle of 1.128. So remember, this whole thing represents a reference angle. So what I now need to do is to say that, oh, hold on before I do that. So the reference angle represents the angle, reference angle. But remember that my angle is actually negative from back here. So that means it's going to be in the second quadrant and also in the third quadrant. So to find the angle in the second quadrant, we have to say that theta is equal to pi minus 1.128, which gives me 2.014. All right, so now I actually have what the angle of is. So that means that this whole angle in here is actually 2.014. So now I'm gonna set this to be 2.014 equals pi over six, x minus two. So then I'm going to multiply both sides by 6 over pi. So I get 3.846 equals x minus 2. Add the 2 to both sides, and I get 5.846. And when I go to my graph, it does look like approximately that it's about here. It's just under 6. So it does look like it's about 5.846. 
and there's how we can find um, it algebraically and then also looking at the graph to confirm that that's the value.